Hey there world, welcome to this yet another guitar review. I've done a guitar like this similar before, but this one's a little different. This is the Seagull Natural Elements Mini Jumbo Amber Trails version, meaning the back and sides is made of um, this, we can get in the light there, Amber Trails Maple. You might see some little brown trails in there, hence the name of the wood. Okay, we'll go over the specs really quick and get right to the review. I'll leave full uh, information for the full specs in the doobly-doo down below. Uh, basically, it's a spruce top, maple back and sides, mini jumbo shape. Just a tad bigger than, I guess, a grand auditorium shape. Um, rosewood bridge and fretboard, tusk saddle and nut, and the seagull headstock, of course, and the beautiful open gear butter bean tuners, which are really nice, very smooth. I really like them actually, they're, they're really nice tuners. And it's got a pickup, I uh, won't really get into that because you can get, actually does it come without a pickup? Okay, in case it doesn't, you got the, uh, the B-Band T35 pickup system in here, which comes with three band EQ, bass, mid-range, treble, a tuner, a phase adjuster, volume of course, and blah blah blah. And uh, the battery compartment is separate. Actually, the battery is there. You plug in there, which is separate from the strap pin, which is always nice. And then there's another strap pin here. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over a flu. Um, <clears throat> and so it's gig ready. The reason I grabbed this guitar is I was looking for a bright one. So uh, this is a nice bright guitar. So if you're interested in a bright guitar, uh, keep watching and listening. Okay, let's get right into the um, review. I'll... Uh, play some songs and sing and you know just like a normal situation where you're watching a guy attempting to play some songs and sing on guitar then I'll do some bits with no singing and you can cheer at that part um, and then uh, and then we'll just leave it up to you to decide whether you like this guitar or whether it helps you or not anyways let's get right into it so sustain. A little bit of country. time music.
finger picking. I'm not the greatest finger picker in the world. I only use two fingers, but we'll give it a try. song. You might not know this one, but anyways. Something's going wrong with the singer and the song and the music isn't gentle. Across the moon, and the sun's too hot at noon, and the house is dark behind the broken door. And will the grass be gone from underneath the sky? Will the golden flower wither soon and die? Will the fire burn out the land and the sea fill up? throw a disclaimer in there, do not let my sloppy guitar playing affect your opinion of the guitar. I am not what you would consider a very good guitarist. But I'm just doing my best here, so let's try a little bit, see what it sounds like with a capo. Okie dokie. is fully picking that up. This thing has really good sustain. seems to be nice and pronounced and pop out, which is sort of the purpose of a mini jumbo anyway. It's supposed to be very mid-rangey uh, dominant, I guess, if you want to call it. Okay, the last little thing we'll do is just play through uh, some chords in the scale of uh, G and A. Give you a typical sound of it, and, uh, and then we're out of here. So, G. Oops, sorry. Let's try 
going. Okay, stop. All right. And that would be it. So, I uh, hope this helped. If you're in the market for this guitar and uh, want to see the difference between this and the Wild Cherry one, or you just wanted to hear it because you can't play before you buy, <clears throat> depending on where you live. So, yeah, I hope it helped. And uh, I guess we'll uh, close it out. Say goodbye. God bless. Have a good one.